Morning guys, today one location, well, a few miles away from my house. This is Suzuki's GSX-R750 K7. What a beautiful bike. The good and the bad, and I suppose the ugly today. But the good, what an amazing piece of kit. Love the bum on it now with the indicators. Got a towel tidy there. The exhaust note, quite enough to uh, start outside your house. But when you get up to seven, eight thousand revs, really does give a nice tone. Normally I'm the first to say, let's get rid of it. It does weigh a ton. I mean, you can see underneath there. So it's normally so I'd uh, change, but it does sound quite nice. Engine wise, well, it's a 750. The 600s were 94 brake horsepower. This one is 154. I mean, that's 60 brake jump, that's massive. The 1000cc does try and kill you, it's only a little bit more, I think 30 odd brake more. So why would you go for that? You may as well uh, be sensible and go for 750. Cheap to insure, cheaper to buy, a lot more fun. Indicators on here, obviously in the wind mirrors, and that looks quite nice as well. When you get me the indicators, you know, it's something that people change all the time. I still like big indicators, so I'm quite happy with the way they are on this one. The front end looks nice. Um, this has got two side lights here, the K8 and so on, gets smaller. I mean, these really are small bikes, if I'm honest with you. If you go back to the old K1s and so on, that were pretty massive. I mean, I still love them, don't get me wrong, I like being big on the road. You can literally see that they've used all the um, technology at the time and then just stuck it into this road bike from the track. Beautiful bikes. Gear change is lovely, brakes are spot on, you can't knock the brakes at all. Seating position, well I suppose we're getting on to the uh, sort of bad now aren't we? 5.8, um, brilliant, you know, they're great bikes. I see some big old lads riding these and I wonder how they must be really scrunched up a lot. Um, Got to go for the bad bit, okay, something like here. When you're a young lad, you know, and you've got lots of hours in your bedroom, that's great for your wrists, but as an old man, your wrists do hurt you a little bit. Maybe it's a lot more wide than you will get used to. Um, and then I suppose they'll be fine then. But at the present minute, yeah, my wrists are aching a little bit, but you've seen my other reviews on the uh, BMWs and Triumphs so on. I did have the old K6, sorry, K5 600s, and they were nice little bikes, but this is a big, big improvement. Lightweight, you can just throw this around, you know, running or, or on the road. It really does bank beautiful, ride beautiful. On here, the guys fitted some nice sticky summer tyres. And again, you know, hasn't really gone far over. That was me yesterday, just moving over slightly. Um, the problem is in the rain, definitely, you know, I've got to be careful there because I ride all year round. So either get to change the tyres or just make sure I'm very careful in the rain. This is the next thing. I mean, the tank, tiny. Uh, 110 mile, light comes on. And that's another thing. Why? You know, they've got all the technology. Why did they not bother? putting petrol gauge it really is annoying <laughs> you know you worry all the time i'm used to bikes doing 200 miles to a tank and now i've got back down to 100 again um the best part though is this little left hand bit there gear change just there i'll turn it on in a second having a gear change indicator is really good the 600 you are changing gear an awful lot this one you can leave it in the gear longer and when you get up to 8,000 revs, to say that that exhaust really does give a nice tone to it so you can't knock that at all um why they've got i mean this has got a little seat hump on it i've got the spare seat for it you know i've seen a couple of um girls they must be like miniature girls perched and i say perched the little bums on here you know it looks good to go by but they mustn't be comfortable and the weight ratio must be odd as well these really are single you know men's bikes if you want to um, put someone on the back, then get a touring bike or, you know, a sensible. I still love the FJR 1300s. Um, they've got a lot of power and they're great as well. Anyway, I put a few decals. Yes, my fault. I do like my stickers. Um, but that's all I can really moan about. Petrol gauge, your wrists, you're not really for two people. That's that's things that we're actually going to buy a sports bike for. Um, nice and easy to service still. It'll be the same as my other service video I did in the 600. So it'll be seat off, tank up, and then you're going to get your sparkies and your oil filter underneath and so on. So quite easy to work on. Great bikes. I have to say, they really have put some great technology. Anyway, let's hear it run. It's got the usual bloody alarm I hate. Phone down for a second, guys. <laughs> Okay, 
it's got an alarm on it. I suppose you've got to have it. These are quite easy to nick, really. You know, they're so light. If you put a disc lock on them, you can just pick them up, chuck them back in a van. Crash bungs have got to be uh, an essential for all these bikes. Really do save you. I know they're a couple of quid. So there you go. Nice and simple, guys. Beautiful bike for one person. As long as you've got good wrists and you don't mind visiting petrol stations an awful lot, then the power ratio to it and everything else is so much more fun. They're definitely a bike to look at. So cows that cows like did. Suzuki <coughs> GSXR. <laughs> I'm sorry, fucking Kawasaki. So used to buying Kawasaki's. I do like Kawasaki's. I had nothing but a load of Vegio Alarm. Nothing but a load of Suzuki Jexes lately. So anyway, Suzuki GSXR 750K7. 57 plate. Beautiful bike. Cheap. I'd go and get one if I was you. Right, I'm off a nice little ride here today. Gonna have to fill it up again. <laughs> and there you go. Guys, please check out the links on the other couple of bikes I've got here. I'm gonna stick on there the 600s I had and maybe my BMW and a Triumph as well and the service one. So please watch them guys, like and subscribe and I'll keep doing them guys. You take care of yourselves, bye bye.